the mission of Islam, its true mission, is to remove idolatry from the world, which is also the mission of the Jewish people. We need to define what Islam means. Islam means the submission to Allah, the submission to a higher power. Islam doesn't actually, in its literal definition, mean that you need to follow the Prophet Muhammad or the Quran. That's what we understand today, culturally referencing converting to Islam. But Islam literally means the submission to Allah to a higher power, which is why in the Quran, all the Jews that were following Hashem are considered Muslim. King David is a Muslim in the Quran. King Solomon is a Muslim. Abraham, Isaac, Yaakov, the 12 tribes, they were all Muslim. Why are they Muslim if they were not following Muhammad in the Quran? Why was Moses a Muslim if he's not following Muhammad in the Quran? Because a Muslim in the Quran means someone who submits to Allah. So the idea of making sure the world all understands that we submit to a higher power, that we're all interconnected and we're understanding that we're a part of one, is the true idea of making sure people are Muslim. Now, in my opinion, Musa, Moshe was brought as the prophet of the Jewish people. We got the Torah to guide us. And Muhammad was brought to the Arabs in order to guide them with the Quran. And we have different ways of being able to relate with the world because we are different peoples and we were given different prophets to fit the needs of the people. And the idea that we need to push everyone to go to this particular prophet and to this particular book is not what I think truly spreading Islam to the world is supposed to be. There is an idea that Islam wants to take over the world and I think that true Islam taking over the world means making sure the world understands that we're all a part of one under Allah, under Hashem. We're all a part of one creation, one God, which is not one individual God, but the fact and understanding that we're all a part of oneness. That is the mission of the children of Ibrahim, of the children of Abraham, to bring oneness to this world, to get rid of idolatry, to get rid of something disconnecting us from that higher power. There should be no middle preventing us from connecting to Hashem, connecting to Allah. And the mission of Islam, its true mission, is to remove idolatry from the world, which is also the mission of the Jewish people. Some people have misinterpreted and politicized Islam by saying the way to do that is to convert everyone to following Muhammad. And that's not true. Muhammad was the prophet for the Arabs. We have Musa, we have Moshe, we have our own prophets that were brought to us to guide us. But the true goals of Islam and the true goals of the Jewish people are actually the same, which is to remove idolatry from this world and to reconnect us to this greater oneness that we're all a part of.